Hi there. As a football scout, my role and my responsibilities are defined. Very clear. And for every scout that is out there, it is pretty much the same. The principle, the objective is the same. My duty is to recommend to my head coach, to my management, on issues relating to players. Mine is to watch players. Mine is to see the details of each player that I'm watching. Mine is to recommend to the coach. In some cases, in club sides, the scout goes out to see how he can recommend that this player should be signed up or should be let go. In the academies, talent identification coaches and scouts will be deciding how youngsters can be absorbed into the club or how they can be released back into the community. In the national team where I work, mine is to determine which player fits the bill and the profile of the team that we're building. And my recommendation is to the head coach. So effectively, just like I do in my football as a scout, you, the HR executive, the human resources assistant, the human resources executive or officer, outsourced agent, your role is exactly the same. I say that scouts are the HR of football teams because it is our recommendation that goes to the head coach that determines what the head coach does going forward. Just like you. If you're in human resources, role is exactly the same. You make your recommendation on who you want to hire and recommend to management and they go ahead and hire him. Simple. And therefore, here is what it is. We rely on information. You rely on information. You take CVs and resumes and you look through them to make your recommendation. The football scout makes use of football science, his ability, his knowledge of the player that he's scouting, the players around him, the socioeconomic circumstances surrounding this player, and makes his recommendation to the coach. Remember, the results of every team hinges on the coach. But the coach will only depend on information given to him by the scout on which players are best to use in order for him to put the team together. The scout finds out the strengths and weaknesses of each player and shares them with the coach. Same with you. If you're in charge of hiring, you would look at all candidates, you look at the resume, you would do the interview, and you would go ahead and recommend. I'll give you an example. A lot of people say that I've got a job big in heaven, that it's a dream job and everybody wants it because I travel around the world watching football games. And this is very true. I enjoy the job I do. I wouldn't have it any differently, even if I was paid to. However, there's a lot more to it than that. I actually do a lot of work from home, from my desk, watching all details that I would not see on the field, watching all details that I would not see even on television. Give you an example here, very quick one. I'm scouting this player and he's playing a football game. And in the game, he hasn't got the ball. The other team has got the ball. And here's the science of it. When the other team has the ball, you're wondering, because the TV cameras are always going to show this area where the other team has the ball, what they're doing. You see the rest of the team up in the mix, you know, trying to stop them from penetrating. So they're here and everybody's there. And then all of a sudden, you're wondering, this is the player I'm scouting and I want to know what he's doing. I want to know what he's doing during this process that has the other team with the ball trying to attack. Is it sitting here waiting and saying, well, this is my position. I don't need to actually go up here because it's nothing to do with me. So I'm just going to wait here until the ball comes here. Or is he going to actually go and have a chat with his goalkeeper, like talk about the weather because what's happening up there doesn't have anything to do with me. I hope not. Or is he going to be proactive? and know what he has to do to block things.
and stop things from happening, to stop this yellow team from penetrating here. What exactly is he doing? These are some bits of information that working from my desk, working on the charts, working with statistics will show me, which will now make me have the correct mindset to go to my coach and say, head coach, we can take this one because he's proactive, or we shouldn't because he's having a chat with his goalkeeper. Simple. It is the same with HR. You need information. Yeah, we need information in order for us to be able to make the right decision and make the right recommendation. We need information. And that information you can only get if you're meticulous, if you're reserved, if you're meticulous, if you are actually proactive and if you know what you actually are on about. For information, knowledge is key. There is no negotiation for it. No negotiation. And that is why I'm calling on you today to follow the KTA formula. Knowledge is key. You see, the K in the KTA is key. Knowledge. Know all your players. Know everything about your candidate so that you will be able to make the decision to go to management and say this is the right guy but you need to do a lot more research you can do it's remote hiring these days that's what we're doing i've made selections for the national team i'm making selections for my national team very soon and i've not been able to go and watch any games anywhere because that's just the way it is unfortunately but I'm still doing it remotely I'm watching this guy for example and trying to see what he's going to bring into my team and I think that's what you should do as well adapt it enough of the complaints about the new normal being weird and un unusual and not nice and not cool it is what it is and we've got to get on with it and we've got to move and we've got to actually still be able to produce and deliver optimum quality stuff all the time. It remains for me to thank you for watching me. It remains for me to ask you to please, you know, continue to drop your comments for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is called Sunday Talks. And until I see you again, keep soaring. Remember, information and knowledge is key. It's priceless. And let's embrace it so we can win together. Thank you.